Hello all, in this video we are going to discuss about Azure File Share. So basically Azure File Share is Azure File Storage Services which you can use to create a file share in the cloud. So Azure Files offer fully managed file share in the cloud that are accessible by the industry standard protocol which is SMB and NFS. There are some limitations with SMB and NFS in terms of OS like SMB Azure file share you can access from Windows, Linux and Mac OS client but NFS Azure file share are accessible from Linux and Mac OS client. So whenever you are going to configure you need to uh, keep in mind about the OS which you are going to use. <coughs> So there are some use cases when we should use Azure file share. So first use case is lift and shift application. As you can see in this diagram, this is our on-premise environment. This is our cloud environment. So here we have one server. On this server, we have hosted one application and the, the application data, we are storing it here. So this is complete on-premises. But with the help of Azure storage account, this is a cloud environment. So with the help of Azure file share, what we can do, we can lift the application like there are basically two types of lift classic or hybrid in classic lift. You can move your application and its data on the cloud itself, or you can use a hybrid mode like your application will be on premises and you will store your data in the uh, Azure file share. So in this example, basically what it shows uh, the whatever the data we are storing here D drive, we basically it's a mount drive. We have Azure file share, we have mounted as a D drive. It will show you as a local drive, but actually it is not, it is a mounted drive. So whatever the data application will log, it will be stored in this particular location. And this D drive is mount with the Azure file share. So in case if uh, any disaster happen or anything happen, if your server crashes, then your data will not lose because this is not a physical location where you are storing your data, you are storing your data in the Azure file share. So here basically we are doing a mounting of the drive with Azure file share and you can store uh, applications data like a.txt is a one file and another folder we have data. So you can this similar same thing is replicating it here. And why this is happening because of uh, with the help of SMB protocol basically. So this is one of the use case. Next use case we have shared application settings. So for example, uh, we are using applications which shared the like uh, few configurations file is shared like it's used by multiple applications. So for that purpose also we can use Azure file share. Next we have containerization. So basically Azure file share can be used as a persistent volume for straight full containers. So if you use Docker containers, then uh, it's a uh, like uh, you can use it as your file share. Next we have diagnostic share. So basically it helps to store uh, any log, any, any kind of log metrics or dumps you can store in Azure file share. And you can access them from uh, with the help of REST API. Next, we have demo. So I am on my Azure portal. So first thing to create Azure file share. First thing we need to create a storage account. So let's do that. This is the storage account. So I'll create one storage account. Uh, Resource group, if you don't have, you need to create a first resource group and you should have a subscription. I have already discussed in my previous videos. So storage account name, I'll give test one, two, three. It's already taken. It should, the storage account name should be unique across the Azure. So I'll give four, five, six. Let's see, it's already taken seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. Okay, I'm giving some random numbers. Okay, so with this name, storage account is available. Next is the reason you can choose. I'm going with default. You can choose any specific region which is near to your geography. So I'm going with region default each to S and performance order. These things I've already discussed in my storage account videos. 
so I'm going for default I'll just click on advance so these all the settings I'm keeping default if you want to see what it is and how it works you can uh, refer my previous videos for storage account videos basically so I'm just going for review and create so basically what it does it will basically validate whatever the uh, configuration you have provided that is correct or not so my validation is passed so I just create click on create button so it will take some time okay so my storage account created I'll go to resources so under data storage we have option file share so I'll click on this okay I'll create one file share I'll put name demo file share tier you can choose as per your requirement hot and cool like it's basically how frequently you are going to use based on that uh, you can choose these tiers I'm going with default and each file shares has a maximum capacity of 5 TB you can have multiple file shares and you can mount multiple file shares on the system so this is a maximum maximum capacity if you want you can def uh, edit the quota as well like a specific limit if you want to specify you can do that also so I'm going with default so I have created one demo file share now what we need to do we need to use this file share so for this first thing we need to mount this storage on my uh, azure vm or in my on premise vm so i'm going with my local laptop so i click on connect i have a windows os a drive letter you can choose anything i'm going with you and authentication method if you have in uh, configured active directory with your azure account you can choose azure active directory i don't have any ad so i'm going with storage account key so basically this is the powershell script which you need to uh, run on your local system or any other bm which you are uh, using for mounting so just i'll just click on copy i'll open my isc Okay, so I'll just execute it. Okay, uh, so name is you, it's mounted. This is the URL basically. So if you see here, this is the URL of our file share and if you see here user our user is like it's a local host my system like i'm using local system so it's local host it, this is our storage account name so your host name slash your storage account name will be your username and password will be your storage account key so if i'll go back to storage account okay let me okay if I'll go access key show key so if you see uh, key one CW1 so it is taking the this key one we have two keys basically key one and key, key two so you can use so basically by default it will take key one if you want to specify a change you can use key two as well so now it's completed now i'll go to my local system if i'll see if you see it's already mounted demo file share so if i just open it if i'll create any file in my local system i'll create one text file demo.txt so if i go back to my storage account sorry azure file share and I'll just refresh it so you can see this file is already there if you want to update it sorry uh, if I'll edit this file there's an option for edit okay so if I let this is test file 
we have created a blank file and we are updating the content here so if i go to my storage account sorry here i refresh it if i add open this file this is test file so it means uh, your file share has been mounted if it's not uh, visible here directly you can go to map network drive and map network drive so it will give you the list or you can if, if it's not visible then definitely uh, this is the powershell script this is the url you can copy and paste it on this shared map network drive location and it will mount your drive it will ask for a, a username and password for that you can use same username localhost and password is the account key so okay mm -hmm. Azure file share where it went data stories yeah file share so again there are some policies if I'll open it here sorry access control policies basically so it's not uh, it's basically AD when we are uh, creating this file share there is an option for AD or uh, storage account key if it's AD is integrated in your Azure account it will uh, give you the list of users which you can use for authentication purpose from here basically you can take the backup of your file share so if you want to create a uh, one more important point i'll uh, for creating any kind of backup in azure you need to have recovery service vault you need to create a vault first then you can choose i don't have any vault so it's asking for create new if i'll select i don't have any so that's why it's not it's gray out for me uh, so so you can create a recovery service vault and you can use the backup there are multiple backup policies also which you can define choose backup policy there is one so you can define your backup policies as well here uh, so that's all for azure file share see you in the next video thank you all